Well, today we're going to be looking at uh, repainting the 11th Doctor, as played by Matt Smith, and I'm going to use a one out of this uh, B&M set, which is the 11th Doctor set. So you've got uh, Amy Pond, uh, Oswin Oswald, Clara for everyone else, and the Doctor. So let's get them out and we'll have a look. Okay, so it's quite a nice figure of the Doctor. Um, quite a nice likeness by the look of it. A bit of a slap dash paint job on the hair. Uh, the gold chain on his waistcoat is a bit manky. Um, but yeah, not, not a bad figure. Uh, so first off I'm going to uh, try and get the head off. That's the old boiling water method. Okay, so a bit of boiling water and the head and the hands came off okay. Um, I don't think I can do much to the costume other than give it a bit of dry brushing, a bit of tidying up. But first off the face, um, what we're going to do is do our normal base coat of Cadian Flesh Tones Citadel mixed with Vallejo Light Flesh just to thin it down and we're just going to give it a coat all over. That's actually almost the exact same shade um, but if you didn't base coat it, the uh, flesh wash wouldn't uh, flow very well, it just pulls up on this plastic. So I'm going to finish that, give it a couple of coats, a couple of coats on hands, we'll come back and start shading. Okay, just going to see if I can move the camera a bit and show you. This is painting with a cat on my lap. Okay, so the head is dry, so what we're going to do is use Reichland Flesh Shade and run that into the crevices on the face. And then we're going to blend it in afterwards, so don't weigh too much if it looks a bit dark. So I'm going to carry on with that and do his hands, then we can come back. Okay, so that's dry, so what we're going to do is blend it out. And for that we need a dry brush. I mean a quick tip on getting a, a dry brush is if you clean your brushes in water it takes a while for that to evaporate and dry so if you clean it in uh, like a, a thinner based material, this is just cheap thinners, uh, it will evaporate dry very quickly and give you a nice dry brush to work from. So what we're going to do is use a slightly lightened version of the flesh shade and let's say pretty much a dry brush. Then all we're going to do, you see that, is blend the shade out. You just keep blending it until you get the lightness you want. As you can see it's starting to blend out so just do that all over and on the hands and then we'll come back and we'll start adding some detail. Okay so we blended that in so what we're going to do is Take uh, some red, and I use Mephisto on red, and we're just going to very, 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 very lightly dry brush some red onto the cheeks just to give it a bit of warmth. You don't want it too, too red. And all we're going to do is put his lips on now. Matt Smith's got quite thin lips. Okay. And then we can paint the eyes in white. Okay. Let that dry. And then we'll come back and paint the eyeballs. Okay, I'm going to do 
Matt's eyes, and he has green eyes. So I'm going to use Warg Flesh, because it's quite a nice, not too bright a green. And this is where it always horribly goes wrong. There you go. At least he's not staring madly. Okay, uh, we'll let that uh, dry and we'll come back and paint his pupils. Okay, so his eyes are dry, so we're going to paint the pupils and the line above it. We're just using black for that. It's not too bad. Um, normally I'd paint the eyebrows at this point, but I think his are so faint that it's almost, you can't, he hasn't got any, let me just check. He's got the faintest, faintest hint of an eyebrow. So um, I'm gonna use probably some Mon Fang, just a very, very small amount. Okay, and then I'm going to do his hair. So I'm going to do the base layer in Rhinox Hide because that's a darker brown. Um, so let's find my other brush because the dark brown gives us a good base to work from. See, it almost matches. And what we're going to do is block in here so I'll do that and we'll come back okay so the hair is dry I've noticed I've missed a little bit out so let's do that okay so what I'm going to do is run a little bit of flesh wash into his eye sockets So once the hair is dry, we can dry brush it. So I'm just going to put a bit of Mon Fang on it and then we'll come back and see what it looks like complete. Uh, on the body, all I've done is tidied up the gold chain, uh, run some flesh wash in, highlighted a bit on the jacket just to bring out the detail. Okay, so I've finished painting him. I did some very light dry brushing of Mon Fang Brown on the hair. Um, I think he's come out really good. It's probably not the most striking of changes because the the sculpt was pretty good, but I think the likeness is is not bad at all. And then on that body, I do like this costume. I do like his tweed jacket, but I think this was a bit more doctorish. Um, but yeah, I think that's come out rather nicely. He can. He looks a bit new romantic he doesn't he which he, i suppose he was that doctor how close we can get so good likeness so he's going to go on the shelf with the other doctors well thanks for watching if there's any other figures you want me to do let me know in the comments uh, please like and subscribe because that does help the channel immensely and uh, i'll see you again next time so from me and the doctor bye 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 bye